Hi, my name is Melissa van Dijk and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the ordinary glycolic acid, alpha butene and niacinamide together in one routine. And yes, you can use those three products in one routine without a problem, they have no conflicts with each other. And this is actually a great and simple PM skincare routine which also can be used on a daily basis. If you are having like hyperpigmentation concerns such as dark spots and freckles etc then you might also want to look into this routine and I'm also going to break it down and show you step by step how you can also use those products. Now we're going to start off with step number one which is also washing your face with a cleanser. Now since we are already using glycolic acid in our routine I recommend going with a gentle cleanser that's also suitable for your skin type that doesn't include any hydroxy acids such as for example glycolic acid, lactic acid or salicylic acid. So please in this case keep it very gentle. Now I'm going to use the Ordinary Squalane Cleanser, which is actually great for all skin types, doesn't matter if it's sensitive, dry or oily, it always works. And if you have a different cleanser at home that's also gentle enough, please make sure to read the directions on how you should use it, as sometimes you have to use a cleanser on dry or on wet face. Now with this one I have to apply it on my dry face and then I can rinse it with water. So take a small amount of your cleanser, either apply it on dry or on wet skin and then massage it onto your skin. So, and after you're done with massaging it onto the skin, you now can also rinse it off with water. If you want to use in between a fresh and also wet cloth to also remove the cleanser, if this is easier for you, then go ahead and do so, otherwise also rinse off the rest only with water. And now go ahead and take a fresh towel and pat the skin dry. So now we can move on to the next step which is also applying the ordinary glycolic acid 7% toning solution. Now I want to do like or mention one thing to also clear things up and this is also that the ordinary glycolic acid is an exfoliating solution. This is not really a calming or soothing toner. So if you still want to use a toner in between you can do so. But this one is not a toner in the sense of to really calm the skin in this way. This is more like a, a toner or like a solution that's going to exfoliate the skin. So if you want to use a toner that's calming, you're going to cleanse your face, then use a toner, then apply the exfoliator. Now I'm not going to use a toner in between, I'm going to move on directly onto the ordinary glycolic acid which you're going to apply onto a fresh and new cotton pad and then you're going to swipe it across your face and also neck area. So please make sure that when applying the ordinary glycolic acid solution that you're going to avoid the eye area and also do not bring it too close to your mouth area, just go around this area. And also you could also use the glycolic acid and apply it with your hands, it's just not recommended since using a cotton pad will make the application a bit faster and also much easier since it is so liquidish that when using it on your hands you're going to like lose most of the product before you even have applied it on your face. So now that you have applied your glycolic acid, we now can move on to niacinamide and alpha butin. Now I'm going to mention both. Since the order of application of those two products depends on your concerns, you can either apply the niacinamide before you're going to apply the alpha butin or vice versa. 
It's basically like the rule that they have is that if you have more than one water-based serum, such as alpha betaine and niacinamide, you can apply the products based on your uh, like concerns. Such as, for example, if hyperpigmentation or dark spots is your main concern, then I would, would recommend that you're going to use alpha betaine at first and then follow it with niacinamide. If it's the other way around and you want to have a little bit more of an even tone as well as minimize pores, then you can also use the niacinamide at first and then move on to the alpha betaine. So there's no correct way, it just depends on your concern. Now I'm going to use niacinamide at first. And with serums such as niacinamide and alpha betaine, I recommend using between one to three drops for the entire face and neck area. I'm going to use two drops because this is enough for my face and neck. Then I like to use it between my hands and then gently pat it all over my face and neck area. Now there are different application methods. If you prefer rubbing, then you can also do so. Just make sure with water-based serums, such as for example niacinamide, you can come across an issue um, that it, you can see that it's going to foam. Don't worry, that's what the product does and because of the rubbing motions. But you can either rub it into the skin, use padding application, which I prefer. You can also apply it at first on your hands and then on your face, or you can just use a few drops directly on your face. So there's not really right and wrong. Whatever works the best for you so that you also will get most out of it. It's really important that with any water-based serums, please do not use too much. Make sure that it has a chance to fully also soak into the skin, that it feels dry afterwards. It shouldn't feel too sticky and you shouldn't feel any leftovers on top of the skin. Since we're going to use two water-based serums, as I'm now going to move on to alpha betaine, where I'm going to use two drops as well. Again, use one to three drops for the entire face and neck area. And with alpha betaine, since not everyone has um, like hyperpigmentation all over the face, you can also use it only on certain areas where, let's say you have, for example, such as for me, right here on my neck, I only wanted to treat this area, then I can go ahead, use a small amount and only apply it to this area. And you can also do this with any area of your face or neck area, maybe also decolletage, where you have certain areas which you want to treat because of the hyperpigmentation. Now, if you want to use it all over your face, you can also do so. Just make sure, since we are using two water-based serums, that you are still being gentle, not using too much. Otherwise, you can come across an issue which is called peeling where it looks like your skin is going to flake off, but it's not the skin that's flaking off. It's basically the product that you applied on top of the skin and it couldn't really fully soak into the skin. If you want to know more about it, I also can link you a video in the top right corner about this issue so that you're making sure that you're using the products correctly. And in this case, with the water-based serums, it's less is more. And now that you also have applied either alpha albutin or niacinamide as your last step, then make sure that you're also going to leave it on the skin. Again, you're going to leave on the skin the glycolic acid. There's no need to rinse it off. You're going to leave on the skin your niacinamide. You're going to leave on the skin your alpha albutin. There's no need to rinse it off. Just let it soak into the skin. Now, if you want to use now an oil or moisturizer afterwards, depending on your skin, also how it feels and your skin type, you may also now want to add a moisturizer as your last step. It's not necessary, it just depends on how it feels on your skin. For me, this is currently fine. My skin feels great. It doesn't feel tight or like dry. I'm good with it. But I just want to mention using an oil or moisturizer afterwards is totally fine. Just make sure that when also using glycolic acid, that the next morning um, and you're being exposed to the sun, that you're always going to use sunscreen so that you can protect the skin, that it won't make your hyperpigmentation worse. And also glycolic acid can make your skin sensitive to the sun. I just want to point, it, uh, point this out, even though this is also a PM skin routine, it still is important to protect the skin when being exposed to the sun. Now there's one more thing that I want to mention, and this is... 
When being new to any hydroxy acids, such as for example the glycolic acid, it can be used on a daily basis. However, if you're new to those products, I always recommend doing a patch test to see how it's going to behave on your skin. Then if no irritation happens, then start off slowly. Start off with two, three times per week where you're going to use the glycolic acid. See how your skin can adapt to it so that it also can tolerate the product before you're moving on to using it daily. And not everyone has the same skin tolerance. Some skin types are a bit more sensitive where they only can use it a few times per week. Other ones have no problems when using it daily. So please keep this in mind with any new products, start slowly and add one new product at a time to make sure that you won't um, come across an irritation and that your skin has also the time to adjust to those products. So now with that being said, I do hope that I could help you with this little video and that you also now know how you can use those products and that you can use them in the same routine. And if you like this video, don't forget to give the thumbs up as well as share it. And I will see you soon in the next one. Bye.